yet again, not one person has shown up. I should have known. I should have known. Duh. What an abysmal waste this is. I must have paid a fortune for this table made of Brazilian teak wood with the sole purpose being to host my so-called friends. But no. Well, you know what? I officially demote them from friends to simply... Well, there goes my dramatic monologue. Remington? I, uh, <clears throat> I, I don't believe you were invited. I wasn't, but as I expected, there's no one here because who throws spring kickoff parties anymore? So bourgeois. And this is the worst spring that we've ever seen. Uh, it hasn't even been two minutes. And somehow you've managed to let your true pretentious colors shine through. But that doesn't explain why you're here. Isn't it obvious? I've come to gloat. Oh, come on. Surely someone with as lavish a life as you wouldn't waste their time traveling all the way to Hicksville. Why are you really here? Well, part of it is to gloat, and part of it is that it's a miserable spring day and I need company, even if it's with such an incredibly boring individual such mm. as yourself. Well, grab a chair, I guess. Also, I'm choosing to rise above what you said about me being boring because I'm such a good person. And you're so subtle about that. <sighs> oh, Larson, thank God you're here. I was worried I was gonna be saddled with Remington for the rest of the day. And where were you? The party was supposed to start hours ago. I'm surprised spring hasn't ended already. You have horses at this party? No. W where'd you get that idea? Aw, uh, didn't you say something about saddles? Anyway, I'm just gonna go wait for the cake. Oh, uh, there's no cake. But I did make grass-flavored cookies, though. Freshly mowed. Perfect for spring. Okay, good for you. I'll just go wait until you're done making the cake then. What a gracious guest. Ah, uh, the touche filet siblings. How are you? We're fantastic. Sorry we're late. Hayden had a hand model eating she couldn't miss. Yep. I got to play with springy slime. Didn't even know that was a thing until today. Is that real Brazilian teak wood? I got to touch it with my own bare hands to believe it. You know, um, I'm thinking maybe you could just stop cutting the table and we could all gather in the lounge. Okay. <clears throat> Attention, please. Do I have everyone here? Well. Those of you that showed up. Yes, the four people that showed up are here. Perfect. Well, I'd like to make a toast to the reason we're all gathered here together, to spring. Mother Nature truly is a wondrous beauty and I feel so privileged oh, to be okay. able to. Okay. No need for the dramatic monologue we all know you're about to launch into. Besides, I'm not sure I agree with you. This spring has been awful. Yeah, so far this spring, I have not seen horses or cake. I can honestly see why nobody showed up to this party. I mean, what's the point? Yeah, and your teak table, it's totally fake. Hayden, that that seems irrelevant and more like a personal attack. Just speaking the truth. I appreciate it. Anyway, you guys seem to be very caught up in the negative when it's only just the beginning. Spring has a lot of potential to be better. Yeah, I guess we'll find out once we taste the cake and ride the horse. 
There is no cake. None, zilch, zero. And no horses either. God, you are really making me regret throwing this party. If winter slides a piece of ice down my back one more time, I swear I will put them in a microwave and, oh, sup. Oh, how rude. One should never say sup when entering a party. This weird looking creep just wanders into your house and you're focused on etiquette? Right, well, I, I guess I should ask who you are. Um, isn't it obvious? No, it isn't. And I don't see how belching helped prove your point. It does have a curiously pleasant odor, though. Like that of a rare Juliet rose or a French eau de parfum. I smell flowers. I'm pretty sure flour is a key ingredient in cake. Is someone making cake? What a perceptive guy you got there. What's his name? That doesn't matter. How about you tell us who you are since we clearly haven't figured it out yet? Well, let's just say I haven't been too great to you guys this year. Wait a minute. I think I know who you are. Really? Yes, the hideous crown, the garish striped top, the disgustingly sweet scent. You know, I don't think you have to go into that much detail. You're the model in the before pictures for all those spring fashion magazines. No, no, no. Do I really need to spell it out for you people? I am spring. And is my style really that bad? You could work on it. So, wait a minute. You're spring? Like the literal season? Yeah, that's me. Whoa. And before you ask, I don't do autographs, and no, I will You've not You've been a so awful to us this year. Well, it certainly didn't take you too long to get over your wonder. But Larson's right. Thanks to your poor conditions, virtually nobody showed up to my extraordinary extravaganza. Are you sure people didn't show up because of the weather? Or is it because you randomly burst into monologues? Or because of your fake furniture? Hey, you lovely-handed traitors can insult my personality all you want, but you may never attack my furniture. For the last time, it is real takeaway. Enough. This is exactly why I came here. To replace that ugly table? Please, be our guest. No, no, of course not. Though the table does indeed suck, I've got bigger matters to attend to here. Such as? Well, you'd think that a group of insufferable snobs would know something about how to at least pretend to have fun at a party. Instead, you people have been at each other's throats all day, and I just can't stand looking at it. And I once watched Autumn fall out of a tree. So I'm here to get this party started. It'll be lit and swaggy, whatever slang kids use these days. So who's with me? Well, I have to admit, this party has been quite dreadful so far. We could use some help livening it up around here. And who better to come to our aid than Spring themselves? Well, a horse would be nice. But I have a question. Why would you take time out of your undoubtedly busy day to come help us? Honestly, I was just touched by the fact that you've been bothered to have a kickoff party at all. I admit, I've been horrible to you guys lately, and that's only because I've been a little under the weather. It happens. But the fact that a few pathetically pretentious misfits like you decided to celebrate in honor of me, even when I've been awful, well, I thought I could maybe help out. Well, Spring, ignoring the fact that you just called us pathetically pretentious misfits, we are happy to let you help us get the festivities going. Oh. Let me answer the door, then we can get back to Spring's redemption arc. Oh no, this was not a part of the plan. Guys, guys, get over here. Um, except you, Spring. You keep doing whatever ridiculous tasks that people who plan parties complete. Is it the horse company? 
Has Restoration Hardware come to fix the table? Will everyone please just drop the issue of my furniture and focus on who is actually here? Oh, you're drooling in deep trouble. We can't have her here. Yes, when she sees spring, she's going to hemorrhage. She hates it when she isn't the only life of the party. Quick, let's pretend nobody's home. The party moved somewhere else or something. No, no, that won't work. She has this sense of when someone is home. That's what makes her such a good burglar. The only thing left to do is answer the door. Hello, Leslie. How are you? I'm good. Um, listen, Adelaide. Oh, I am simply fantabulous. I just came from the pet groomers. That's why I'm late. It was so hairy, but all oh, the dogs were so cute. But my little Jessica is the cutest. And did you know that Shakespeare invented the name Jessica? Shakespeare was such a high class, sexy guy. I mean, I didn't know him personally. But Adelaide, um, I have to tell you something. Oh, is it to apologize for that obviously fake teak table I see over there? Is it really that obvious? No, that's not what I have to say. Um, you just need to know that at the last minute we had an unexpected guest show up who you may be a little shocked by and may even butt heads with. That's all. Well... As long as it isn't that stupid idiot Larson, then I think everything will be all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, everyone, uh, come say hello to Adelaide. Oh, hello everyone. Remington, you haven't changed. Same air of superiority. It's my best quality. Oh, and the Tuche Filet siblings. Are you guys still in the hand modeling business? Yes, actually, we just came back from a gig, you know. Oh, it sounds just too wonderful already for me to hear anything about it. Speaking of wonderful, did any of you notice this beautiful necklace I have on? It was custom made in Liechtenstein just for me. Oh, hello, Larson. So, Leslie, the surprise guest is Larson. Oh, well. It's not so much a surprise as it is a disappointment. I'm too used to you hanging around stupid people for this to be a shock. You do realize he can hear you, right? We all can. Anyway, Larson, how are things? Disappointing so far. Yeah, I could say the same of you, but go on. Hey, don't talk about my friend, um, uh, what's his name that way? I'm Larson. We've said his name repeatedly today. Okay, okay. Don't talk about my friend Larson that way. Hello? Who are you? Okay, Adelaide. Um, this is the guest that I was telling you about who might shock you. I'm just spring. This. Yes, the season. I've come to help these mostly insufferable humans figure out how to have fun at a party. Well, you could maybe phrase it less hurtfully. And who are you? Well, right now, I'm a woman in great distress because normally it is my job to help these insufferable humans have fun at a party and I've been replaced. It's madness. Did she just willfully ignore the fact that a season literally descended from the heavens to come to our aid? Well, lady, I don't think you're exactly cut up for the job since you seem pretty insufferable yourself. Excuse me, I'm a wonderful person. Exactly what insufferable things did I do to deserve this treatment? Guys? Well, you do tend to ramble. You love the sound of your own voice. And you showed a stunning lack of interest in our hand modeling endeavors. Well, I don't blame her for that. But Adelaide, you do have a tendency to point out people's flaws at inopportune moments. Like when you referenced Leslie's astonishingly awful taste in home decor. Oh, come now. It was practically begging to be pointed out. Yes. And it was pointed out to me today. Many times. You called me disappointing. And an idiot. Also, it turned out you weren't the horse company. What? That's not important. 
what is important is you might be not as good as a friend as you think you are. I shouldn't know confidence and honesty were crimes, but if they are, then this spring kickoff whatever probably isn't worth my time. Well, we're more than happy to see you at the door. All those in favor, raise your hand. Um, Hayden, Carlson. Um, right. We can't raise our hands, especially above our head, for a period of time after the shoot. It's a hand modeling thing. But Adelaide, we agree. You should go. Fine. I'll go. I have had no fun here. You're all traitors. Such an interesting word, traitor. I wonder where it came from. I mean, I just came from a pet groomer's, but you already knew that. Jessica's good. She's good. Well, good riddance to that. Thank you, Spring, for helping us out. Yeah, she was a terrible friend. We've been trying to get rid of her for a while now. Every time we thought she was gone for good, she would come back. She was like a self-absorbed, impeccably dressed, Whack-a-mole. Remind me why you invited her again, Leslie? You weren't invited, and you showed up. Think about it. Touche. But I am fairly sure we will not be seeing her again. So, yeah, thanks, Spring. Ah, uh, well, it's no problem. Should we get back to the party? Leslie, I replaced your grass cookies with mulch cake. <laughs> Yay, this is all I wanted. Wait, mulch? First of all, how dare you? A and secondly, I I think you've done enough, enough for us today. Yeah, you helped us kick Adelaide out of our lives. What more could we want? Once again, a horse would be nice. You're better than we gave you credit for. We just had to wait and see what you had to offer first. Yes, and ignoring the fact that you literally burped in our faces earlier, you've been a great friend to us. Well, I guess I do have a way of coming around and making things better. You really do. Now, what can we do for you? Oh, I know. We could get them a new wardrobe. Or some breath mints. You know, I feel like this is heading in a vaguely insulting direction, so I'm gonna head out. 